Today we're really going to see what this little psychopath is made of. That means pushing him harder than ever before. And we've got climbing today, but we're going to start with running. Because while he looks incredibly complex, he's actually not that bright. We are of course talking about a bird who is paid to jump over balls. I'm just kidding, he's not getting paid at all. If he reaches incredible success, he might get fed. But if I can just force him to work for free, I'm all the further ahead because of it. And I'm assuming that my lazy strategy will probably once again work for this, but we'll see for sure soon. At least this time he's willing to move a little bit faster. Oh, and we've got to pay to upgrade him now. I don't want to invest in the duck, so I assume he needs some of the pink seeds for $15. We need to pick up two more coins. I like how we're making him risk his life to collect coins just to feed himself. It's called duck life, but nobody ever said it was a good life. Okay, so there's your first $15 item. You're going to eat that, and then hopefully that boosted energy by three levels. Hopefully that means we can get running leveled up. Okay, so it's in the shop. You need to spend 50 coins to upgrade him. So it's going to take a second. The flight training has always been one of my favorites. It's going to be a little bit different today because we get to crash him directly into something rather than into the ground, but we're still going to make some money because he tends to collect a few coins before crashing his face into that wall. And I somehow find this very amusing in itself. I could do this again and again. He's getting training, I'm getting rich, and he's getting hurt. I don't see any possible downside to this. We're making like 10 coins every 5 seconds by doing this. This is either the very best or the very worst strategy possible. But currently we can hit a max distance of something like 1600 points before he crashes and dies. But that's far too much work for me. I'm just going to crash him into that wall a million times over. And it's especially funny how he's not even allowed to blink. He has to watch himself run straight into that wall each and every time. Maximum impact. And just like that, we hit level 20, which is the maximum currently for flying. Once we save up eight more coins, though, we'll be able to upgrade that and fly him into even more walls. Okay, there's the coins we need. Upgrade. Now we can go to level 30, which means more smashing into the wall for our duck. And somehow, this is actually working really well. We're already at level 29, and all I've done is flown the duck into the wall like 30 more times. There's 30. And a few short impacts later, and we've got the 51 coins we need to upgrade him further. So, back to the wall for the duck. One of the rare few games where you can succeed by crashing your duck into things endlessly. And there's maximum level again. Anytime I am in a hurry to collect a few more coins, all I gotta do is make it a little bit further into the level, because this thing is full of coins that are super easy to get a hold of. It's not as fun as kamikaze the duck, but we still get to do that at the end of the run. When we start moving too slow, we just crash him into the water. See? That took no time at all. 58 coins. So that's another upgrade, so he's able to hit level 50 already. And to be honest, flying is the only skill we need. Everything else is completely overrated. There's another 50 coins, there's another 10 levels. And another 10 levels. Usually, people tell me not to crash things into walls, but somehow with this game, it actually works really well because there is level 90. And yes, it probably is faster winning races and getting large amounts of coins to upgrade the duck, but this is much more entertaining and still way more successful than it should be. Level 100 achieved by smashing a duck into a wall again and again. And again, I never knew games as perfect existed. But the real question today, how high can the levels go? Let's take level 120. And then without doing anything else, let's uh, see if we can get into a flying race. The first one's called cliff jumping anyway. He's not going to be the strongest runner, but he's pretty good at flying. Especially compared to these ordinary mortal ducks. They probably have less brain damage though, so they might actually have an advantage overall. Might run out of energy. Oh, he died just at the finish line. I mean, I've got 10 coins to spend, so we'll get him a little bit more energy. And I'm talking literally one. He's definitely better at them than flying, but is that energy going to be enough? Looks like we've succeeded. Now we can use this money to get him more energy. Because that gave me 50 coins. And I'm just assuming that these are going to be the way to go. That way I have to do less clicking over on the other side. And that's good news for the duck. Because the more frustration I encounter, the more times he's going to fly into a wall. And as it is, I already very much enjoy flying him into the wall. And he's actually such a skilled flyer at this point that he ricochets off the first few walls because he's going too fast. Eventually he hits when he can't get past. And the next race is called Rock Climber. We're going to see how he performs straight away, but I think we're probably going to have to upgrade his climbing skills. He can't resort to flying. Yeah, this definitely isn't his strong suit. Looks like he's probably got enough energy though, but let's see if we can level up his climbing skills just a little. This one is a little bit different because we have to actively manage him as he's going up, jumping back and forth, collecting coins, and avoiding edges. Not really a big problem. Not because this isn't exactly a challenge, it's fairly easy to just avoid the ledges, but because I can just let him climb till he hits a ledge. As long as he's smashing his head into something, I'm making progress, and that's all that really matters. So, he climbs, he hits his head, he restarts. 
my auto clicker can carry us through this. And just like that, I've head smashed my way into level 120 and collected 99 coins doing it. I'm just not sure if that's going to be enough to win the rock climber race yet. Having some running skill would also help, that way he can get to the wall a little quicker. But it seems he gained a little bit of a lead, so yeah, I think level 120 is probably adequate. But what do you think the final area is all about? It's a running race. He's probably got some work to do there because his legs, uh, he might have skipped leg day. But we have some flying coming up and he's pretty good at flying. So once he gets airborne, he's probably going to take overtake the other ones. Might run out of energy though. Definitely going to fly past them, but will the energy hold out? That is the question. And he's dead. Well, luckily I now have 149 coins to just buy food with. So his energy levels are rising quick and we can still buy a whole bunch more of these. There's level 31. So that's going to take us from this to easily gliding past the other one, scurrying up the wall, and I still got one quarter of my energy left at the end. And I got 100 coins for that one. But now we got to do something called the sewer escape. And this is definitely a swimming race, probably followed by a climb out of the sewer. The climbing part we're pretty good at, the swimming part maybe not so much. But don't worry, I've got an idea. First we're going to spend a hundred and something dollars on this little idiot, and then basically just crash him into islands again and again until he's good enough for my approval. Which honestly will be never, but if he's able to make me some money, then I'll use him. Update. I've been crashing this moron into things for the past 5 minutes, he's already level 31. And just like that, there's 120 levels of swimming, all by crashing this duck into stuff. Definitely don't make the money with swimming though, only 9 coins, but that's okay because I feel like we're probably gonna win our first race. Probably by a lot, considering we swim to the wall and then climb, uh, both of which have extraordinarily high skills for us. The running we're still a little bit short on, but you know what, we'll make it work. Next up is the Leap of Faith, and I feel like we're going to do pretty good at that because my duck is a pretty good flyer, as long as there's not an obstacle in his way. But we can actually fly so far, we fly right over the finish line and off the screen. So then we get to do the final area, which should be a combination of the two. So a super speed swim, followed by a lightning fast climb, a very slow run, and an even slower incline run. But then we get to fly to make up a little bit of ground, but probably not enough to win this one. So I guess we're now, for now we're going to feed him a whole bunch of this and then finally train the running. And by that I mean we're mostly going to crash him into balls again and again and again. You don't need high scores to level up, you just need scores. We run this idiot into enough balls so we hit level 120 and that really didn't take long at all. So let's give him another two drops of whatever this stuff is and then force him once again to race for our amusement. But he has level 120 of every skill that should be enough to carry him through this very easily. He's already left the other ducks way behind uh, in no short part because he can run this fast. But I really can't help but wonder now just how fast we can make him go overall. So if the other ducks want to uh, finish the race at any point, that would be okay. I want to see how fast we can make our duck run, so I'm going to need to collect more coins, just so I can upgrade the max levels. We can go as high as 140 right now, I want more. I painstakingly saved up another 300 coins, which means we should be able to hit level 200. Uh, unless of course 150 is the max overall, and I guess that's still pretty fast overall. Yes, it seems like level 150 is of course the max. So now we just gotta make our running skill 150, and then we're gonna have an ultra fast duck on our hands. He's still not very bright, but he will be very quick. And there's 150, so let's put him in a race and see how he does. Pyramid Climber, and as long as that involves running or flying, we're gonna do just fine because look at him go, max speed duck. And then he has to fly at the end, so he's definitely way, way ahead of the other ducks. Also used very, very little energy overall. So let's try the Oasis, which of course involves running and then swimming. Even on his lesser skills like swimming, he's still a very quick duck. And another easy victory. And excitingly, the final area is going to be a combination of the two. But I'm kind of curious to see how far he's going to fly, because last time he went way over the finish line and he flew all the way over the first pond entirely. Good things happen when you smash creatures into walls. So then we're moving on to Hawaii, which starts with flying, so that gives us an enormous head start right off the bat, and then running, followed by extreme volcano jumping. So this one you definitely have to have adequate flying skill to clear the volcano, and I did. So now I just really hope I'll be able to do both of these levels back to back and still win. You know what, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Went way over the volcano, and we're looking for the end of the road. Oh, we got a climb at the end. And we're done. That finishes Hawaii and we've got $663 to spend so I might as well start feeding him these because I think that'll boost his energy and maybe eventually his other skills. I don't really know. I'm just going to feed him crap until something happens. I feel like at no point we were short on energy but now he's level 76. 400 head smashes later, level 150. So it's just a matter of swimming him into 100 things now and then we'll be good to go. And as for swimming training today, I don't think we've gone further than 250 points this entire time. And there's swimming 150. So we're going to feed him a 
a few more pellets because he earned it. I'm just kidding. We're not feeding him anything. We're just going to make him run in Japan. Semi-final. Then we get to start off with flying. Our favorite. Lucky for him, this is the first and only time he's not going to fly. Never mind. Directly into something. But at least he survived this time. Then he's going to climb super quick, do a roll, back to flying. And that flying skill really is important because it gets him a lot further than the other ducks. I would be very surprised if any of the others could beat him at this point though. He is in fact the perfect duck. This is a really long race. I'm pretty sure I spent less time training the duck than I did putting him in this race. Uh, safe to say he won probably by a considerable margin. Oh look, here come the other ones now. And the championship final, which starts out just the same way, and I assume follows a very similar course. But it's another one-on-one. -on -one. It might be the very same course, but we're racing one single duck. So far it's neck and neck, but I can already tell that I'm gonna win because I do in fact have the perfect duck and I'm very slightly ahead. But I'm glad now I got all my skills up to 150 because I don't think I would have won otherwise. I told everyone but no one listened. The key to being a world champion is lots of torture and suffering. Better be a good reward for wasting all my time. Oh, actually 200,000 coins isn't bad. Not sure what I'd spend it on. I mean, I would feed him or give him a share of the prize, but that's not gonna happen. I'm just kidding, he can have one dollar worth of food. I'm just kidding again. 